Hey everybody, we're at the tailgate and we got a couple of Troy fans. Yeah, just a second. I was gonna. Uh, and then what's your name? Gavin. How do you spell that? G A V I N. Okay, Gavin and Nancy. Nancy, and uh, they're from. Are you from Troy? No, we're. we're, we're boys in Troy. Colton, Alabama. So you're from Alabama, and where is Troy? About a hundred miles north of Panama City Beach. Any uh, Troy traditions that, uh, like, any cheers, anything special that we might need to know about? I don't think. I don't think a yes. home game. Yes. At home game, the cannon goes off when we make a touchdown, and then okay. a little airplane flies out in the middle of the field with a military guy in it. Okay. Right. <laughs> right after we make a touchdown. All right, we're uh, waiting on a really good friend of mine, uh, Bob Watford. He was the uh, host of Elm Street Jazz back around, I think, 1984 is when I first met Bob. And uh, that was at uh, KBRO when it was on the Strip. Now, another good friend of mine, we're all here waiting for Bob, is uh, Cal Pickens. And you may remember Cal, he was the local sales manager <laughs> at true. KBRO. That's true. Also had a music show at one time called The Music of Stillwater every Sunday night on KSBI. And Carolyn Myers. Oh, I'm all sweaty. Miss Carolyn. <laughs> Miss Carolyn. Miss Carolyn to you. Now, you were a, a, a music teacher yep. for Stillwater. 29 years. Is it, uh, elementary music. Elementary music. And, and, and we've had a lot of students come up there and uh, say hello. Yeah, I see some of my students all the time. And Miss yeah. Carolyn on the kids' radio show. Yeah. She was the main like star. Was, yeah, I was the kind of the most sane one on it. Yeah, true. Because <laughs> uh, all the other personalities on the show were uh, schizophrenic splits off of my personality. And mine. No, you're kidding. Oh, yes, I'm quite serious. <laughs> Alright, this is really cool for me because uh, I'm here with uh, Bob Watford, who is a longtime friend of mine from uh, uh, back in the mid 80s and uh, from Kansas City, <laughs> the voice of Elm Street Jazz on KBRO. Then he moved over to KSBI. We both worked together at KBRO and we both worked at KSBI. And the man that hired us both was uh, Jim Randolph. It was uh, he always was the. It was not a mistake after all. He was the double <laughs> double howdy always because he always said howdy 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 howdy, <laughs> howdy, howdy Jim Randolph. Howdy and, howdy, this is Jim Randolph. Now Jim, you were at uh, the Cat, right? Yeah, a long time ago. Okay, and what what years was that? 1980 to 84. Okay, and what shift? Different shift, seven to midnight most of the time. Seven to midnight. Yeah. Okay, and then you came to. That's uh, when all the drunks called in the morning. Skinner. <laughs> You ain't free bird. free bird all weekend. We're on our second keg. <laughs> yeah, what kind of calls you get up in Kansas City? What do they want to hear? What do the drunks want to hear up there? Uh, now it's uh, you haven't played Slipknot all weekend. We're on our second keg. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, different bands. <laughs> and go, folks. In the back, go, folks. In the front, go, folks. Right here, go, folks. Ready, man. This is 1900 cc's, only 999 built. This is 760. This got everything. <laughs> 